Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be installing a script hook and it's gonna be the latest one. I'm gonna give you the link for it down below in the description. And script hook basically is a free mod manager for Grand Theft Auto 5 and it's used for mainly trainers as well as other mods that you would need to get for GTA 5. So you need to have script hook in order for these mods to work. Now, my last video that I did with this a couple of years ago was script hook. A lot of people were confused. They were uh, looking for ways to access script hook as if it's an actual menu. It is a precursor to use other mods and a lot of people also get confused on where it goes. So I'm here to guide you. It's a really fast tutorial. I'm going to show you exactly where it should go. We're going to hop onto the internet. We're going to download the latest script took. And whatever link that I give you down below, just realize that is the latest one. Now, if they have a major update with GTA 5, which happens pretty regularly, at least three times a year, uh, just give Alexander Blade, he's the maker of script took, a little bit of time to update the script took because the soonest that I've ever seen him do it is one day. And the latest that I've ever seen him do it is up to two weeks, you know, because he does have a life and, you know, it, it takes him a while to update certain things if he's got a lot of things going on i'm sure you guys understand that we're gonna download it right here and get it onto the desktop now a little disclaimer about script hook it is not meant for online gameplay as a matter of fact if you have it in your main game directory it's just going to close your game and there's always a possibility that you might get like a temporary ban or you know even a permanent ban i wouldn't really try it uh, it'll just close your game anyway and if you want to learn how to mod your game and then also play online there's a way to do that, and it's all through uh, having a clean version of GTA 5. Look to the top right of your video. There is a uh, brief video there to show you how to do that. So that way you can bounce between modding your game folder and then also playing online if that's something that you wish to do. Now, Script Hook is an extremely easy install. You wanna pull up your main game directory. If you're having trouble finding your main game directory, if you're kind of new to modding and things like that, look to the top right of your video. Uh, there is a three minute video to show you where to find your main game directory if you're on Epic Games, Steam, or retail version. And it's even timestamped for however you bought your game, you know, like I said, through Epic, Steam, or Retail. Okay, we have our main game directory open. This is where GTA 5 is located at. We're gonna open up the uh, zip file for Script Hook. We're gonna open up the bin folder. When you open the bin folder, you're gonna notice three files. Uh, one of these is a native trainer. Now, most of us do not use that. If you already have a trainer installed, you don't need it anyway, but most of us use simple trainer or a menu. So I'm gonna encourage you not to install that one. Just install the den put eight. I'm gonna hold down left control. I'm gonna highlight script hook. And we're gonna drag these into the main game directory. I already have it input date. If you do too, it's okay to override it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. And we just installed script hook. And once again, you don't open script hook. It is a precursor to allow you to use other mods such as, you know, trainers, for example, real life mod, uh, ELS, which is the emergency lighting system for cars. And there's countless other things that you need to have this particular mod installed prior to those mods or with the mods. That'll go ahead and wrap it up and take a few seconds to log into YouTube for me and uh, hit the like button and leave a comment down below if it helped you out. I really do appreciate it. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.